Quick fixes are an effortless way to keep your code clean. But what is a quick fix? We'll take this example of a simple type def. If we hover over the highlight, we see that the Sonolint recommendation is that using should be preferred. A nice modernizing rule. But do we really want to go through all of our code changing these perfectly working type defs? Well, maybe. But now, immediately below the rule summary, we see this quick fix action. And clicking on that will rewrite the code for us. Let's look at another one. Now we can also get to the quick fix action with Option Enter on Mac or Alt Enter on Windows and Linux. So you can clean your code mouse free. Now in those cases, the type defs were readable enough and the transformations fairly straightforward. The problem with type defs though is that they get harder to read the more levels of indirection you add. So following a type def like this one is a tricky and error prone process for most of us. So being able to quick fix it into a using declaration automatically is a big relief. The using keyword started out as a way to deal with namespaces, but namespaces themselves have evolved a lot since then as well. In C17, we got nested namespace definitions, so we can clean up heavily nested code easily. And now we can do that in one click. But then in C20, we got inline namespaces, which make all their declarations visible in the enclosing scope as well. Sonolint for Saline can also compact these types of namespaces too, which is just as well because the syntax can look a bit odd if you're not used to it. Now we've had move semantics since C11, but it can still be tricky to keep track of what you can move and how. Here we can see that this std move is highlighted because it's being passed as a const ref argument, so it's not an R value. We can quick fix to remove that. Similarly, with this one, the type itself has no move constructor, so the call to std move does nothing. We should remove it. Well, this one is const, so again, not movable. Now, CLine itself already has quick fixes, with most coming from Clang Tidy, such as this one that offers to use auto instead of the tediously spelt out iterator. This is great and probably what you would do by hand. But notice that Sonolint didn't offer to quick fix this one. It takes a slightly different view here, since auto will deduce to a plain iterator rather than the const iterator written, making this slightly less safe than it was before. If we'd started with cbegin though, then we do offer the quick fix, as auto now deduces to a const iterator. Or of course, if we've been using a non-const iterator to start, we can also do that without changing the semantics. Perhaps you've been using auto with begin and end without thinking about their constness. Maybe it's time to revisit that habit. The final example we'll look at involves exception hierarchies. Now we can catch exceptions by their dynamic type, of course. But if multiple catch blocks could catch a particular object, then only the first match is selected. So if, as we have here, a base class is mentioned before a derived class, then the derived branch is never matched. And both Saline and Sonolint warn us about this. But Sonolint offers not just one, but three quick fixes, as there's a few reasonable ways to address this. We could move the base after the derived, or the derived before the base, both of which would technically change the behavior. Or you could just remove the derived catch block completely. Now that actually preserves behavior, but you probably wanted one of the first ones. Now, if you're not already using Sonolint for Cline, how do you get it? Well, it's as simple as going into Cline settings, go into plugins, then start typing Sonar and you'll quickly find it. Click install and wait for it to download and install the plugin for you. Now this is downloading over a good, but not great internet connection but still only takes about 30 to 40 seconds, but we'll skip ahead. Once installed, you'll just need to restart CLine, which takes another few seconds. And now you have Sonolint up and running. It will only take a few quick fixes to get back that 50 seconds you just invested. And that's it. That's been a sampling of some of the many quick fixes we've added to Sonolint and available here in the plugin for CLine. And you've seen how easy it is to get the plugin, so why not try it out today?